Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new video. So over the past couple of months, I've gotten quite a few messages through my Facebook page of people wondering how to get that kind of faded look to their photos. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's where the blacks aren't completely black and uh, you kind of don't really have any details in the shadows and they just look really faded. Now, some people really don't like this effect and I know some people really do, however it is a very very simple effect so I thought I'd make a very quick tutorial just showing people how they can achieve it. Um, so I've got two photos here just to show you today really quickly and you can do this in any single program that has a curves adjustment so you can even do it in video editors that have curves adjustments if you really want. However today I'll be using Adobe Photoshop. Okay so here in Adobe Photoshop what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer by clicking it down here and selecting curves from the menu that pops up. Now if you don't really understand how curves works I'd suggest looking it up. I'm not really going to go over it in this video since I do want it to be fairly quick. Okay so the look we're trying to go for is obviously losing detail out of the shadows. Um, so as you know the left hand side of the curve is the shadow so if we raise that up you can see we're kind of getting that faded look. However you can see the line is stretching all the way over and it's slowly going up here. So it is brightening a large portion of the image and not just the shadows. So to fix this there's a couple of things we can do. Uh, the first and most basic way is just kind of dragging this point here and dragging it straight up the middle line like that and not actually raising it or lowering it and just moving it diagonally up. And you can see that is crushing the blacks, it is getting that faded look, however it isn't making the photo look too great. Okay so the next way we can do this is to create multiple points to kind of isolate this curve a little bit to uh, just the darker shadows down here. Now the way I do this is kind of create a point halfway down the curve and another one at this line here. So you can see these kind of three lines in the middle. I usually make one on the two to the left. And from there what you can do now is just drag this point up and you can see we're getting that faded look but it's more isolated to the darker shadows since you can see only this portion of the curve is being affected really. And a quick before and after you can see it's looking fairly good. Um, since this photo isn't really the best example for it, it might not be too clear, but you can also raise up the shadows a little bit if you want and create a more gradual curve, and I think that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so what I did was I quickly grabbed another photo which I'm editing for a couple that just got engaged and I did their photos for them. So you can see I created a color version here, and uh, quickly what I'm going to do is just show you the black and white version I created. So the first thing I did was use a channel mixer adjustment to turn it black and white. Then I brightened up the photo a little bit because I always tend to brighten up my black and whites after I've converted them just because I think it looks nicer with them being a little bit more contrasty. And then from there let's turn on my curves and you can see I gave it that very slight faded or vintage look which I just think looks really nice especially for a really close up kind of a motive portrait like this. And taking a look at that tone curve, you can see it is very slight. However, it does create a very nice look. Um, so whether you like this effect or not, I think it works really, really well on certain photos when it is done right. So I hope this answered everyone's questions who has been wondering on how to achieve this effect. It is very simple and it does create a very nice look. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can hit that like button to help my channel grow. You can also check me out on my Facebook page or my Instagram page where I've been uploading daily. Um, so you can see some old photos, some newer photos, some kind of behind the scenes or uh, little photos, some mobile photos from my holidays and stuff like that. So uh, that would probably be a good thing to check out if you want to keep up to date with all of my photography. And of course, if you have any video or tutorial suggestions, feel free to leave them down below and give me ideas for upcoming videos. So thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.